Hello, welcome to another video made by me. Uh, hopefully your fifth favorite YouTuber. <clears throat> I just want to make a video going over how I struggle at Tormented Demons. I really wish I could say, hey, this is how you, you know, just breeze through them. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not like the best player at this game. But, for a slayer task, these things are pretty easy. The gear that I bring is uh, a mage and a range switch just because the bofa you know i have the bofa and crystal so what i wear to start is the crystal bofa uh anguish of course the slayer helm unholy blessing borrows gloves and a brimstone ring and i also have the eternal boots and the zamorak cape and the only switch i do is the tormented bracelets the toxic staff of the dead the occult necklace and a mage's book because I use um, dark demon bane with mark of darkness. Now, with these, as I'm sure you're aware, they uh, rotate their combat style. So you want to bring two combat styles. Um, I have gotten one synapse, and uh, I'm trying to get another one. I don't know if I want to make the amber light or if I'm going to sell it. They're going for like. 60 plus mil right now, so it's pretty tempting to sell it. I'm trying to save up for a nice, beautiful scythe, but um, yeah, I bring thralls with me because I use the Arceus spellbook, and all the runes fit in the in my four slot rune pouch, which it looks like I'm probably gonna be able to do one kill. Because I need more fire runes on the missile scope runes. Didn't notice that. But uh, let's go see if we can get a kill. And I'll show you how I do it. And unfortunately, you know, this isn't like a, a budget setup for most people. It's not budget for me. But it is all in all total. I'm like 245, 40 mil. 240.5 mil. This is a good spot up here because there's just one demon. It's pretty chill. We'll hop around and see if we can find someone. Fine, let's see if we can find a free spot. Hopefully we get lucky. I mean, not everybody at this spot can be just starting their trip, right? Okay, we'll move on. So, since I bring the range and the melee switch, I always summon the greater zombie. 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 Because Tormented Demons are weak to crush, which is interesting because the Amber Light's a stab weapon. But, um, yeah. Oh, I guess the first attack right. Yeah, this is what I do. I just throw a nice kill. Like I said, I'm probably going to be able to do one for the video just because, you know, I'm going to of fire runes. Yeah, we just have a nice con kill going over here. Oh, we can do that. Switch. 
helps you you know realize like a really simple switch that you can do um you probably do this with just dragon hide you know if you want um but yeah this is what works for me i don't want to use my arc light um i don't want to have to you know farm more charges than i need but yeah this is just a recommendation of how i've been doing my slayer task and uh, hopefully it helps you if you're struggling with yours yeah, and then if you're not in a Slayer task, uh, Elite Void was working really well for a mage range switch. And for, with the uh, range with using, using Elite Void, I was using a blowpipe. But yeah, that's everything. Hope this helps you farm that, you know, juicy little snaps. And uh, have a wonderful day. And as always, toodles.